Thanks, Ma. Have a good day. Bye. Hey, Hakim. What are you doing here? You're going to be late for school. Still got time, sir. Ah, but hurry up. It's okay. I'm a pro at getting in exactly on time. Hmm. Back in the day, I was also an expert. Last one in all the time. School gate used to hit me on my backside. <laughs> sir, do you think Lauren has gotten all the glitter out of her bag yet? <laughs> That's a good one. I must add that to my series of pranks. Yeah. It's time to upgrade. Your pranks are a bit too old school. Hey, what old school? I'm only one year older than you, okay? Pranks change fast. Yeah, yeah, and you better move fast. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Late ready. Let's go. How come Chef Zoo came over last night? He was in the neighborhood and came by to say hello. I heard him talking about Nasi. That name sounds familiar. We were just talking about an old friend. But then why... Lila, no more questions. Finish up your food. You know you're going to be late for school. Moga, you look extra cantik today. Why? Is it because you're in love? Don't be silly, okay? Tak. Every time you meet Wafik in the office, do you get that? Warm, fuzzy feeling? You are enjoying this entry. Of course, it reminds me of when Man and I first fell in love. So, do you still have that warm, fuzzy feeling whenever you see Man? No lah, married already. Honeymoon is over. <laughs> Morning. Mm. Uh, actually, I was wrong. Because every time I look at my handsome husband, I still get a feeling. Mm? What's going on? <laughs> Wow, man look extra handsome today, lah. No, I'm just giving an SEDF talk to the TGJC students today. Ah, I'm sure the students will be very excited to meet the hunky hero who was featured in Manja magazine. Oh la. Sayang, why not bring a copy of the magazine and show them? Mm -hmm. You should. No need, no need. Wow, <laughs> oh, so humble. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, uh, this is for the... Uh, for the teacher in charge. Okay, I got to go. Okay, bye, Ma. Bye. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye, Ma. The report looks good. Send it out today. Remember to CC Wafi and me. Mother. Uh, Ta Sao, do you have any contacts for potential venture capitalists or anybody looking into investment opportunities? Investors? For what? Uh, for an aesthetic clinic. My friend and I came up with a proposal. Yeah, take a look. Chris, KS food should be your first priority now. You've just been converted to full-time staff recently. You should focus on your job. Are you thinking of jumping to something else now? No, 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 no. That's all. Please don't misunderstand. I'm 100% committed to KS Foods. I'm just helping my friend. Yeah, you don't have to worry, Shirling. Chris works really hard. I've seen him put in the hours. Hey babe, thanks for sticking up for me. Zhu knows about the accident? Everything? He said I left Nase for dead by the side of the road. That I'm guilty by omission. Boss, I don't know what he's capable of doing or who he's going to tell. Relax. What exactly does he know? Find out more first. Otherwise, it is just an empty threat. can discuss the matter we talked about last night. I'm working right now. If you want, you come to TCH. No. It's better at my place. We can talk in private. Fine. So, how was that? Pretty good, right? 
you, you call that a prank? Lame. What lame? I wish I saw your face as you were going to the office looking for your dad. <laughs> My dad. My dad passed away many years ago. Oh. And I never really got over it. Even now, I find it really difficult to talk Sorry. about. Sorry, sir, I didn't know. Sorry, I just thought it. Gotcha! <laughs> you should have seen your face. No, but seriously, my dad has already passed away. So I didn't go to the office. Which means your prank is lame. Which means Eddie won, Hakim zero. It sucks not having a dad. I know how it feels. Nice try though. Maybe one day you'll get to prank master level. Sir, give me some tips on how to level up. Hmm. Okay. Your prank was too risky. What if you got caught sneaking into the school's office? Right? A good prank has maximum impact and minimal risk. Zhu. Kong San. I didn't know that you're going to be here. Relax. Have a seat. We just want to talk to you. So both of you like decided to come together and what? Gang up on me? So it's not like that. We What do you want to talk about? Unless you're telling me that you're going to stop seeing Nadia, there is nothing to talk about. We want to know what you know about Nasir's accident. Why? Because you still feel guilty about it, right? We just want to make sure that you know the truth. I know the truth. Abdul told me everything. You! You bought over his shares of the company, right? Knowing that you're going to secure a lucrative deal with who? Linda Hartono? Huh. Now say found out and was furious. He thinks you deliberately cut his father off. I know, Kwong San. Now say came looking for you that day to confront you. How do you know what happened after that? You were not there. After Nasir's bike crash, Abdul found out from the police there was an eyewitness. Now this witness saw a car driving recklessly away from the scene. A car that matches yours, Kong San. The police never came to look for me. What proof do you have, by the way? It is not an uncommon car model. Hey, I don't believe in mere coincidences. Now they came looking for you, and your car was nearby where he crashed. Now shortly after that, the only eyewitness withdrew his statement. Why? Maybe someone paid him off, huh? I know the truth, Kong San. All this is because of you. You played a part in Asi's crash. And you left him there to die? Abdul wanted to sell his shares. I never forced him. That's just business. So you think you didn't do anything wrong? If I did anything wrong, do you think I would still be here running care's foots for so long? Abdul had regrets and was feeling very angry. If you think that I purposely cheated him, what proof do you have? Because I believe what Abdul told me. I saw how broken he was when he lost his business and how bereaved after he lost his only son. Kong San, you know as well as I do, he wasn't the same after Nasir died. He has nothing to live for. I was sad to see him like that and even sadder when he had a stroke a few years later and died so young. But all these years, you never took responsibility for any of it. What happened was tragic, but it was bad luck. Nasir's death was an accident. You can't blame it all on me. The truth is, we didn't know that Nasir was badly injured. That's why we didn't stop the car. 
Thank you. The students enjoyed your talk. No worries. I hope this inspires at least a few of them to consider a career with the SDF. So-called heartland hero. If you can't hack it in the real competitive world, you just sign your life away in NS. Very brave. Lauren. Hi. Yes, I signed on with the SDF when I was in NS. My family wasn't that well off, but it was more than that. I wanted a meaningful career that I was passionate about. I didn't say I was a hero, but don't ever disrespect those who put their lives on the line to save lives and keep Singapore safe. Nase caught up with us just as we were leaving Linda Hartuno's house. He started shouting at us, very angry. He accused us of all kinds of things, of cheating his father, lying, backstabbing. I didn't want to stand there and quarrel with him. We left. So I drove off as fast as I could because I didn't want to cause a scene. I didn't expect Nase to chase us on his motorbike. He was speeding and riding very aggressively. It even frightened me. Now what? You're shifting all the blame on Nase's own behavior? Look, I know he was trying to catch up with us, but Nase was young and probably reckless. So, you're not speeding as well? I might have been driving fast, but I don't believe I was reckless. No one can be sure. It happens so fast. It was raining and the roads were wet. Next thing I know, Nase had skidded. Now you explain to me the part where you drove off without even bothering to help. Sulaiman. Um. I just wanted to say that you dealt with those girls really well. They were very rude and unkind. And I hope you don't take them personally. No problem. They were just immature. Uh, by the way, how is Nolina? She's fine. You must be looking forward to the baby. Being a first-time father is very exciting. Yeah, I'm going this way. Oh, wait. One more thing. I'm having a birthday celebration at TCH later. If you and your wife are free, you're welcome to join us. I don't think I can make it. But thanks anyway. Hey bro, you should get off work so early. Yeah, yeah no more patience for today. I stitched up the last one as quickly as I could and came home. Let's go for a drink. Yeah, maybe later. I gotta go home for dinner first. Hey, did you ask your sister-in-law about getting the contacts of venture capitalists? Yeah, she'll get back to me. Okay. Anyway, I'll be sending out a few failures. I'll update you. Dude. Uh-huh. Why so popular now? And who is this Felicia? Hey, she's just click. Yeah. She sure likes to use a lot of smiley emojis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's going on between you two? Nothing. You sure? Well, she has a thing for me. But we're just colleagues. She's a good source of intel for whatever is happening in the office, so I keep her close. Don't play with fire, bro. Bro, I won't get burned. Anyway, I'm not doing anything. Susan won't find out anyway. <laughs> ah, there's my son Arjun. And his friend. Hello, Auntie Nadine. This is uh, my friend, Christopher. Auntie, just call me Nadine. Hi, uh, I'm Christopher. Can you call me Chris? Hi. Hey, bro. Who is she? Uh? She seems kind of familiar. She and her husband were featured in the newspapers recently. They are the ones who own the East Corn Group of Clinics. Really? Why are you bringing this up? After so many years, you want something? Money? I don't want your money. Your money cannot bring back Nasir or Abdul. And you, you know what I want. Stay away from Nadia. I already gave you fair warning. Huh? 
My feelings for Nadia have nothing to do with any of this. I genuinely care for her. Why don't we just tell Nadia the truth? Let her decide what she wants to do. Do you think that I would let you dig up the past and hurt them all over again? Just so what? You feel better about it? Huh? And you, do you really want Nadia to know the truth? Do you think your relationship can survive that? Hey, be my guest. Hi, 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 Mrs. P. Hello, Eddie. Oh, should I call you Cassandra? I think I prefer Mrs. Pereira. Oh, but since I'm a teacher now, we're all colleagues, right? Eddie, it's just too weird. <laughs> it's okay. But Eduardo will always have Petrina. Hi, Madam Matika. Hey, hi, Eddie. Happy birthday. <laughs> thank you, thank Thanks you. Thanks for inviting me. Uh, it's my pleasure. <laughs> um, Eddie, meet my husband. Yeah. Hello, sir. Hassan. Yes, hello. Uh, hello, Hassan. Yes. How are you? Fine, fine, fine. Uh, you are Sulaiman's father. Yes, you are right. Uh, these are my children. Uh, Sulaiman's half brother and sister. The one is Fatima and this one is Faisal. Hi, hi, hi. Want to play with my invisible laser gun? Thanks for the lovely tea, Mira. Oh, my pleasure. Let's do lunch sometime. Sure, anytime. Call me. Okay, bye. Bye. -bye. Uh, excuse me, Nadine? Yes? Well, I understand that you and your husband own the very successful Iskong Group of Medical Clinics. Yes, why? Well, ma'am. I have a business proposal for you. Arjun and I are starting an aesthetics clinic and we want to give you an early opportunity to invest in it. Oh, Mira didn't mention anything to me. Well, we're only inviting a selected few to view our proposal at the moment. Here's my name card. I can send you our business plans first and we can arrange a meeting to discuss things further. Email me first. If I like what I see, then we'll talk. Sure. Great, thank you. Have a good night. Zo knew so much. Ah. I was surprised at first. But he and Abdu were very close friends. <sighs> all these uh, bring back so many bad memories. It is all in the past. We have nothing to worry about. Son, you don't feel sad. I remember you and Abdu were very good friends back then. And I still remember, you still have his original rumba sauce recipe, the one in his own handwriting. You don't remember later on? He used to always argue with me. He had no idea how to do business. Life is so unfair, right? I still feel sorry for Abdul. B, stop feeling sorry and feeling sad. Don't live in the past. Move on. Do you remember or not? Do you ever regret not stopping to help Nasil? We made a U-turn and came back. By then, another car had already stopped and people were helping Nasir. I didn't want us to get involved. So, we didn't stop. Yeah. How would you know he is very badly injured, right? Even if I knew, what can I do? I'm not a doctor. So, Hakim is back in your class this year? Yes, unfortunately. <laughs> Hakim? He's in my fitness and nutrition class too. Is he giving you any trouble? No, he's not. Really? I'm surprised. I am too. Hakim is a notorious troublemaker. He's been in and out of detention so many times, I've lost count. That boy is just too playful and has no respect for authority. Nah, he's not that bad. You guys just don't know how to handle him. Maybe I do because I was once like that. Well, Eddie, you've really grown and matured into this new role as a relief teacher. Hmm. 
Thanks, Mrs. Pereira. So, don't be too quick to judge Hakim. When I was in school, every teacher said the same thing about me. Troublemaker, playful, no respect for authority. Look at me now. In the running for relief teacher of the year. <laughs> hey. Hey. Uh, thanks for meeting me. Sure, not a problem. So, what's the occasion? Are we going for a meet movie date or stargazing? I need to talk to you. Okay, sure. Why are you so serious? What's going on? I've been thinking about us. Okay. I don't want to hurt you, so I'll just tell you plainly. I don't think we should see each other anymore. Is this because of my mother? Did she put you up to this? Nope. This has nothing to do with your mother. I've had time to think. And I guess you're just not the one for me. Or for Lila. If you don't love me like before. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way. Memories burn into my core. If I can't have you back. If I can't have you back. Love's not made to last. So fast. Uh, yes, Jake. Just stay out of the way and you'll be fine. Whatever, I'm not afraid of her. Whoa, maybe you should be. Her husband's an ex-convict, you know. Scarly, she sends him to go after you. Huh? Wait, her husband is an ex-con? Ah, uh, ah, uh, you, you're not supposed to know that. Then why does she act all high and mighty all the time? She's not perfect if her own husband is a criminal. <laughs> Okay, 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 look, look, just forget about what I said, okay? It's confidential. Don't go around telling anybody, okay? Okay. Okay? Sure. I, I gotta go. Bye.